Boom, and we're live. How are you, brother? What's going on? I'm good. It's good to see you. Pull this sucker up to you. Boom. How's Boom. that? Boom. Good. I'm very excited about your fight, man. Very excited. Not as excited as I am to be here. I'm sure. What? How often is it that two undefeated, I mean, you're not a heavyweight champ because they stripped you, but you never lost. Two undefeated heavyweight champions go at it like this. This is a huge fight. Very much so. It's never, ever happened before, ever. It's pretty exciting. Someone too as big as us, um, I've never, ever fought each other. What do you think of, I mean, for people who don't know, you're fighting Deontay Wilder, who's uh, an American undefeated knockout artist, and you are probably one of the more interesting guys in the heavyweight division, not just because your personality, but your skill set, the way you move. You're long and tall, but you've got great footwork and you're fast. You know, it's a very, very interesting fight as far as, like, boxing technique. It's power, raw power versus boxing skill. Two guys, one six foot nine, one six foot seven. Both charismatic, both talkers. One British, one American. It doesn't get any bigger than this. This is the biggest fight that could be made at this time in the heavyweight division or in the world of boxing. When you watch Deontay Wilder move around, there's nobody that moves like that guy. So odd. Like it reminds me of Bambi on ice. <laughs> He doesn't really find his legs underneath him. No, sometimes he throws and he's got no legs underneath him. He's just, he's swinging and literally he's flying through the air as he's punching. I've seen him fall over a few times as well. Yeah. But listen, the guy tries to land that big punch and yeah. when you're trying to knock people out with every single punch, then if you miss, it becomes a problem when you go off balance and maybe fall over. Yeah. Were you uh, impressed with him in the Luis Ortiz fight? I was impressed with him because he came back Yeah. and he was losing all the rounds. I only gave... Wilder the rounds that he knocked Ortiz down in. Um, so he'd done well. It was his acid test, so to say, come through. Ortiz is 49 years old. Um, albeit at least. He, at least. Albeit he was past his, past, like, his prime age, but still undefeated um, champion going in. So it was a great victory for Deontay Wilder. And he proved to me that he can get come back, get hurt, come back and win a fight. Yeah, and Ortiz comes from that Cuban system. He's got great skills. I mean, yeah. And he's looked fantastic in every single fight other than that fight, up until that moment that he got hit. Yeah, look, you can't go swimming and not get wet. Yeah. Ortiz had over 300 amateur fights, 20-odd professional fights, nearly knocked them all out. But if I may be critical of uh, Lewis Ortiz at this minute, he stood in front of Deontay Wilder right in punching range which is not a wise decision considering a guy's had 39 KOs. Yeah. And his, his movement, he was trying to move a little bit, but he, he was on old legs. And I know a story what happened before that fight. Lewis Ortiz had very bad blood pressure and the doctor was going to pull him out and he had Charles Martin on standby. But he said, no, I need the money. Really? So he went in and fought anyway. And he still nearly beat Wilder. He had high blood pressure. Mm. That's interesting. Where, where are you hearing this from? Good sources. Good sources. Yeah. Those are the best sources. Always the best. <laughs> Inside info.